Conquering modals and phrasal verbs. Mastering passive to active voice conversion. Hello, English language learners. Today, we're tackling an advanced topic in our series on converting passive voice to active voice. We're going to focus on working with modals and phrasal verbs, a crucial step for you to express your thoughts accurately and confidently in English. Stick around to enhance your grammar skills and to practice with some engaging exercises. Before we delve into modals and phrasal verbs, let's do a quick recap on passive and active voices. When a sentence is in active voice, the subject performs the action. On the other hand, in the passive voice, the subject receives the action. For example, active, Tom ate the apple. Passive, the apple was eaten by Tom. Our goal today is to turn passive sentences with modals and phrasal verbs into active ones. Modals are auxiliary verbs that express necessity, possibility, permission, or ability. Examples include can, could, may, might, must, shall, should, will, would. In passive constructions, they're followed by be and a past participle. For instance, passive, the work must be done by Monday. Active, you must do the work by Monday. Our task is to identify the true doer of the action and make it the subject in our active sentences. Phrasal verbs are combinations of words that function as a verb and include a base verb and a preposition or an adverb. They can also be used in passive sentences. For example, passive, the vase was knocked over by the cat. Active, the cat knocked over the vase. When converting these passive sentences to active, we need to ensure that the phrasal verb remains intact. Now, let's try to convert some passive sentences with modals and phrasal verbs into active sentences. 1. The contract should be signed by Friday. 2. The new proposal will be looked into by the committee. Share your answers in the comments section and we'll review them in our next video. That wraps up our video for today. Remember, understanding and practicing the conversion from passive to active voice, especially with modals and phrasal verbs, can take your English grammar skills to the next level. Don't shy away from practicing and challenging yourself. Happy learning and see you in our next video.